The best way to stretch your upper back from sleeping all night long is called book openers. Open your hands reaching as far as you can to open up the middle back. Repeat on each side for good thoracic mobility. Can I crack my back if it's fused? This is an x-ray of a fused vertebrae. As we can see in the picture, number 12, 1, 2, and 3 are all fused together. Now those bones are not going to move. They're like welded together. The important thing is if we look above and below it, we still have motion in those joints which we can move. Now I wouldn't try to crack my fused spine. Even as a chiropractor, I have to be very, very careful about adjusting around those areas. How does picking up a piece of paper make your back go out? It's not that the paper weighs a lot. It's because we get a repetitive injury here in the low back causing that injury. When you take a paper clip like this and bend it over and over and over again, eventually it's going to break. Your low back gets worn out by bending over and over and over. So instead of using those little tiny back muscles, grab a bucket and a mop and let your booty drop. Treat your back pain with a tennis ball and an old sock. First put the tennis ball inside the sock, push the ball to the bottom and put it on the top of your shoulder. Lean against the wall and use the sock to move the ball up and down wherever is needed. Oh, and use clean socks. Use your iPhone to see if you have bad posture. Take a picture from the side and edit using markup tools. Use the ruler and turn to 90 degrees, putting it on top of your ear. Now draw a line down the ruler. Let me know if your ear, shoulder, and hip line up in one line. Look how this marshmallow squeezes out the side. When you push your bones and your low back together, the disc bulges into this nerve. This causes sciatica pain and is really uncomfortable. Here's how we help with back pain when sitting. Placing a lumbar support in our lower back first rotates the pelvis. It restores a natural curve to our spine and helps prevent spinal degeneration and disc bulging. 